When we come back, we're going to take a look at one of the legends of the New York City playgrounds. He's known in the famed Rucker League as Fisher Price. Right here on campus, he's our own Corey Fisher. Welcome back. Corey Fisher has enjoyed one of the great high school basketball careers in New Jersey history, playing for St. Patrick's High School and Elizabeth and the legendary coach Kevin Boyle. As a Villanova basketball player, Corey's been a staple on the highlight reels, but he's also embraced all the values of Villanova basketball, unselfishness, toughness, defense, and we're so proud of Corey's development. There's a lot more to come. Let's get to know the man we call Fish, Corey Fisher. Any Villanova fan recognizes the moves. The improvisational artistry that is Corey Fisher's game. But a team can also be stronger when they rely upon that kind of magic to open up other avenues. Think, think about this. If you got a guy like that that can go get a shot anytime and defense has got a fear, He's got to be. He's got to be on the tack all the time. Fish. The reason he was open on automatic is because you were trying to score, and they knew it. So his man left him. But when you come off and you're looking at him, they're not guarding you. So you got to look to score. All right. That aggressive mentality has helped turn Fisher into one of the most dangerous players in the Big East, and his teammates into precision shooters always ready for a last second feed. Even a player who could score at will knows there's a bigger picture. Every team has to have a leading score, whether you're winning or losing. And, and the good thing is that we're winning. And everybody, if you're winning, it don't work, you don't worry about individual win. And like you said, anybody on our team, the team that we got, anybody can be a leading scorer. So you just always don't want to be that. You want to do more things. You want to get the big stop. You want to you defend. You want to just make a play at the end of the game just for your teammates. Not only you. And I got great leads on my team, Scotty Reynolds. Reggie Redden, just guys like that, and me, Corey Stokes, and Antonio Pena are going to be in that position next year as seniors, and just to try to let, do the same thing they're doing this year, just teaching us on and off the court. He came in with a lot of high expectations um, as a freshman, as all freshmen do, and I think he realized that he had to change his body, um, had to change his diet um, to become the player that he wants to be and uh, get in better shape, uh, better conditioned. Um, was able to go out and win a uh, sixth man of the year award for the Big East. And coming in as a junior, I think he's taken it to another level. Now his uh, body has stayed the same. His commitment uh, to being a Villanova guard has, has picked up, and um, he's playing tremendous basketball right now. Everybody's important on the team. It's just everybody role is different. It's just like if if it's a ball on the floor, we, we gotta set the tone and dive for the for the people that's coming off the bench. Just the young guys just to see that. And me coming off the bench last year and just playing behind guys like Shane Clark, Dante Cunningham, Dwayne Anderson, and knowing that they left and, and I'm a, I'm in that position now. I just wanna do it for them and, and the young guys on the bench just to let them see how we gotta come out and play building over basketball. The leadership torch is about to be passed again. Last year's seniors, with Fisher playing a dynamic role, helped lead the Wildcats to new heights. And the center of college basketball's biggest stage.
nothing compared to Final Four. Just a great honor going to Final Four. Just to know that you're one of the best four teams in college basketball. And the media, the arena, the atmosphere, everything was just... It was it was it was just a great feeling to be around, and we just trying to be the best team we be, and hopefully, we, we just we want to go back there. It's, it's not promised, but we will want to go back. This year, the team's mission is to get back. Corey Fisher's is to accept the spotlight that continues to grow, with an unselfish talent that builds and blossoms more each day. We, we got to practice. We gotta, can't make those mistakes. You can't lose turnover. That's the difference between being an average player and a great player. Now, see how you kept your dribble here? Yeah. They all turn their backs. Yeah. Keep your dribble. Don't give up your dribble. Message heard and delivered. Last year, Corey Fisher was the Big E Sixth Man of the Year, and this year as a starter, he's taken his game to a, another level, and it's excited all of us. We can't wait to see what he's got in store for us next year.